Thank you for tuning in. I want to share something that came uh, in the Drone Blocks community a few weeks ago. One of our users, Ibrahim, had posted a question wanting to know if we could support sine and cosine in Drone Blocks. And the reason being is if you guys haven't seen this photo technique called Flatland, I'll show you an example here. It's just truly amazing. I became aware of these earlier this year uh, from a Turkish photographer, I believe his name is Aiden, and he takes these amazing photos with his drone, stitches them together, and they're called Flatland. Kind of gives you that look that you're staring at an object, but at the same time you're staring down upon it. Aiden might not be the original creator of this content, but to the best of my knowledge he is. So I just wanted to make that disclaimer. But in this thread, I'll put a link to it below, uh, we discuss some of the approaches to how we can do this. So both Ibrahim and Killian from the Drone Blocks community, as well as myself, discuss this. And from that, we have a mission that will go out and automate this process. Aside from the GitHub thread, Ibrahim posted this great presentation that gives you sort of a visual view of how this happens. But you essentially have a main object, a region of interest that you want to shoot, and you're uh, some X distance away from it. And based on that and the angles that you want to calculate, this 2D transformation happens, right, around this point of interest. So from that, based on the number of photos, you have these different shots that are taken at various altitudes and locations, as well as having your gimbal pitched down towards the main object. So from that, you can see here, here's some uh, prototype drone blocks code that was put together and we were able to then work through that to construct this mission and this mission has been flown by myself Ibrahim uh, as well as Killian and let me just make a side note if you haven't seen Killian's work check him out here's his YouTube channel I'll put a link to it below he's doing some awesome stuff with drones drone pan drone blocks and most recently shooting a lot of these flatland images. Let me just give a brief overview of the code. The cool thing is, is you can run drone blocks in the web browser and then load it on your iPad. We're working to support DJI Spark. Testing is going well and of course we support all the other major DJI products. But you start with a takeoff altitude where your first shot will be taken. You have a max altitude. The, these are variables so you can enter whatever inputs you want there. The number of photos that you'd like to acquire uh, your exposition will generally start from your current location and you can see that this is going to repeat however many times uh, you have photos so 10 plus 1 the sequence number you can see here if it's greater than 0 we go into this loop for the first loop we just hover we take a photo so that's going to be your first shot along the x-axis and then we start getting into climbing up this ladder if you will so what drone blocks will do is it will go up, move forward, go up, move forward, all the while when it moves forward it's going to uh, take that photo. And you can see here in this scenario we start at a minus 120 meters or feet actually since drone blocks currently supports imperial units and then we end up at the same altitude. The Y is going to be equal to your X distance. So with that being said we loop through change altitude based on the transformation that's the y direction we set the new x position used on that transformation we fly forward we pitch the gimbal down and then the photo is taken after the the end of the final loop that photo is taken we exit this loop and then it returns home and lands so with the drone blocks web and ios version we can preview our mission let's take a look at that you can see these waypoints here, I'll go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. We can look at it from an overview. You can see here's the first waypoint, and then if we click on them, you see altitude's 33 as it starts to climb. It's a very similar to uh, what we see here. And if we go back, we can also take a look for those of you that are more into uh, the code format. Very similar to what you see on the left. In block format, we have on the right in code format. So all of those calculations are being done, waypoints are being uploaded to your DJI drone, and then you're able to essentially acquire these flatland photos in an autonomous manner. 
now as I've shared several times before with other projects using the drone to acquire imagery is just one small piece of the equation it is really uh, an art form to be able to blend these together and to create these uh, captivating experiences I by no means have figured it out but I'm continuing to work on it I know members of our community are I know there are several online tutorials for blending these for you Photoshop and GIMP experts out there would really love it if you were able to access this mission put a link to it below run through it test it out get the imagery and then see what you guys can come up with I'd be really excited to uh, have a nice tutorial pretty simple for a basic photo editor guy like myself to be able to create these. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Being able to make drone blocks open, being able to share code, pretty exciting stuff. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.